Hello, this is Mike at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to look at a newish feature that's been added to Blender. And when I say added, it's added in an experimental stage. It's not um, enabled by default, and that's because there are some bugs associated with it. It's still under development, and it's still completely optional. Some people will decide not to enable this. But I know other people, especially if you come from uh, a Maya background, have been waiting for this like you wouldn't believe. Um, the user interface in Blender is very keyboard-centric. Um, doing things with mouse clicks has always been a little bit messy. Um, with the move to 2.5 and 2.6, they've cleaned it up and then they've slowly been adding things like these tabs here, definitely cleaning up the interface, making things uh, more mouseable. But this one here, this, this thing we're going to cover today, it's a huge step forward. And this is pie menus. Uh, that's what Blender calls them. Basically context sensitive menus that pop up around your mouse. If you've used Blend, if, sorry, if you've used Maya, you know exactly what I'm talking about. In Maya, if you press the space bar, a menu pops around your mouse and you pick quadrant and then from there you pick what you actually want to do. The uh, Blender implementation is a little bit different. In my opinion, it's actually a little bit cleaner, uh, but it's tied to previous keys you used in Blender. For example, right now, one that you probably use all the time is Tab. Tab the switch between uh, edit and object mode, for example, basically controlling this menu right here. Now, its performance has always been a little weird. When you're jumping between different things, it doesn't always jump exactly as you'd like. So now that is that key, when we enable pie menus, has been overridden, as I have a bunch of other ones, and I'll show you them all in a second. But first, let me show you actually how to turn on the radial menus. So come up here to File, and go to User Preferences. And then we want to switch over to Add-ons here, and at the top left corner, search for pie. Um, so amazingly enough, it's the only plugin named Pi. Uh, so we'll go in and we'll enable that, and that's it. So if you want to keep it, save your user settings, and we're done. So now when you come in here, and instead of hitting tab like I did before, when I hit tab now, we get a radial menu with our options. So you'll notice those options right there are the same as coming down here and choosing between this menu. So that is essentially what this does. It pops it up accordingly, and then you just go over and pick which one you want, and done. Now, you may find this displacement isn't right for you. Now, fortunately, this can easily be set. So if you come in here, uh, and these settings are here even if you don't have the add-ons enabled, but you go into interface, you see in the bottom right hand corner here, there's a set of um, values here for pie menus. And the big one I'm gonna keep here, I'm gonna change my radius down to about 42. Uh, and you can change the amount of speed that things draw, et cetera, but I want, that was the most important one to me. You know what, well, I'm here and turn that off too. Uh, so now, when I hit the tab key, much tighter packed together, which is it's what I prefer anyways, less distance to travel for your mouse. But obviously you can configure this however you wish. So even if it just stopped there, this is a big addition in my opinion. If you're a mouse type person, so if you don't want, so all of this stuff could have been done using the keyboard, and I should note, still can. So you'll notice there's a number beside each one. So I can go into edit mode by doing tab six, or tab one, tab, oops, that was caps lock, tab, Two, oh, there is no two. There's no two. Tab four, etc. So that number key corresponds. You don't actually have to use the mouse at all if you're using the radial menus. There's still a corresponding hotkey that goes along with each number. So, like you saw there, so tab four and then tab six for edit, um, and vice versa. So you're still got a nice keyboard driven focus, but your mousing is not a matter of going down here, click, switching, and off you go. Now, in addition to tab, we've also got uh, a shading option. So if you hit the Z key, it used to be the Z key toggled X-ray. Now with Pi menus enabled, it actually brings up this menu right here, which allows you to switch between your various shading modes. So here we can go to wireframe, and we'll go back to solid, and uh, we can switch over to, uh, see, and this is the one I have found most, most buggy, to be honest. Uh, point blank, it just doesn't work that well. But uh, it's definitely, so Z is controlling more or less this menu right here. Now, on top of that, you've got, and this one is probably going to be my favorite, is you hit Q now, and it brings up your perspectives menu. Or you can come here, and this will bring up another set of uh, radial options. So, front, back, right, left. Now, you'll notice, too, um, you can now do the number as well. So, Q and 4 is left, Q and 7 is front. Uh, Q and one is camera, etc. So you still have your fast hotkeys. And the nice thing is with this combo, now I can turn off, I work on laptops almost exclusively, so I do not often have a number pad. So I always have a number pad um, 
emulation on, which turns my numbers 1 through 10 at the top into uh, the, the equivalent of your um, number pad settings. Now, now I can actually just use Q and a number combination. And so I can turn that off completely with this option, but I will actually probably just use the menu. I like this. This is a very good step forward for me. Um, uh, so I'm definitely down with that one. Uh, next one is a little bit more um, obscure in your keyword combination, but you can do uh, tab, shift, and control. And this brings up your snapping menu, like so. Uh, this is the equivalent of, where did my snapping options go? Um, this menu right here uh, via your snapping instead. Uh, so that is control, shift, and tab. Uh, you've got your pivot menu by hitting um, period, your pivot menu being controlled. Where did the pivot menu go? I so rarely use this guy that. Uh, so anyways, your pivot comes up here. Uh, which one is pivot? Pivot's this guy. There we go. So it's quick access to that. It's the period key, like so. And finally, you've got the manipulator menu, which is uh, this set right here. It's just control and space. Um, in all honesty, I will probably never really use this one. But what this combination does is it basically exposes this menu, this menu. Um, yeah, so that menu, that menu, that menu, and that menu, essentially. These guys right here are now hotkeyed. So no more having to navigate down here and go through menus. This is all now accessible through quick keys and radial menus. So I'm going to do a quick um, recap of what the hotkeys were, and then we're done. So first off was tab. Uh, so switch between your uh, your editing modes, your active editor. Z, or Z, depends on where you're from, is bringing up your rendering modes. And again, this is the one I have found to be far most buggy of all the options available right now. Uh, then you've got Q, which brings up your uh, camera perspectives. And you've got Control Shift Tab uh, to bring up your snapping options. You've got Period to bring up your pivot. And you've got control space to bring up your manipulator. And that's it. So um, to some of you, this is probably like sunlight to a vampire. You're like, no, this is awful. And to you, it's completely optional. Never, never enable it. But if you're coming from a more visual background or you're a mouse focused kind of person, this is going to be a godsend. Even with the bugs, I actually suggest you enable it now and get used to it. It's a nice feature. It's definitely a very handy thing to have. Now, I guess I should have said this right up front. This feature was added with Blender 2.72. Uh, I imagine it has dependencies on 2.72 and forward. So you need to be running within the last couple of months version of Blender. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. It's a cool new feature. It's nice to see the way that uh, Blender is evolving and it's nice to see Blender evolving in a way that's keeping these things optional. So the purist can stay pure, whereas the um, conversion people or the mouse people are definitely, uh, mouse people, uh, they're definitely pleased as well. So this is a definitely a good, good development. Good job, Blender team. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you later. Bye.